What is going on guys? Today we have got a flashback Chiellini and to say the least he's not very impressive. It is a very very cheap SBC to do. 90, uh, 82 rated, sorry 92, no one would do it. We've got him at a 96 rated. It's not bad, it's a great fodder card if you are doing the 82 pluses and eventually you kind of get bored of them then this card is perfect for fodder. 82 rated team literally costs absolutely nothing. So if you do want a 96 guaranteed, or you just want to keep putting him into the 82 plus, I don't blame you. Personally, I thought I'd give him a go. Um, he was a, well, he still is. He's a very well big name in the terms of centre backs. It is a shame that now he is getting a little bit older. He's getting a little bit slower. He's getting a little bit less on his agility and balance. He's a two-star, three-star with a left foot, which is interesting. I always find it uh, weird when I see a left foot centre back. You don't see too many of them. Six foot two. Traits, we've got long throwing, which I don't think I've ever done, to be honest. A power header, which in next year's FIFA would be incredible. And injury prone, which is always fantastic to have on your centre backs. We've got 91 sprint speed with 76 acceleration. So for me... Pace is key. He's already got the defensive side of it. Look at it. 99, 99, 95, 90, 96. You can't argue with it. He was always going to have immense physical and immense uh, defending. So it, it kind of gives you that room to kind of grow this card. So for me, I would be looking at an engine 100% on him. It gives you that plus five on the pace. Gives you that little bit of passing, which he's already got 87, 87, which I can't complain at too much. He's got great reactions, incredible composure. L low for right now uh, agility and balance 73 on both it's not the worst in terms of defenders but at this point in the game you've always got to think with these reviews if I did a gold Chiellini review back at the start it's still probably not great this card right now looks a lot better than the starting Chiellini and any informs we've had but then you kind of bring the cards with it. You look at your special Van Dyke. You look at team of the years. You look at any of the team of the seasons. Even some of the um, the future stars and other promos we've had. The centre backs are at a high calibre right now. You're looking at prime moment Rio, Maldini, Cannavaro, team of the season Van Dyke, Ramos, Varane. You've got a lot of competition. And unfortunately, even if they made this card 99, there would still be flaws in it. It's just the way it is. He's an older centre back. How old is he? What, what's his? Uh, 84. So that makes him 35, 35 now? For nearly 36. Just turned 35 or 36. Either one. He's an old centre back. He is a legendary centre back. I think, I can't remember what this one actually was actually given for. But we get a kit with this as well. I don't know if this is going to tell me now. No, it's not popped up, but basically you do get a kit with this um, SBC. It is just a FIFA 21. Um, for me, I don't think it's that desirable in, in general, but it's something again for the next year in case you really wanted it. In terms of where I'm going to put him is the next real point. Um, so I'm going to jump him. We're going to get him into a squad, get the engine on him, and just see what is all about there. So we've just put the engine on him. We have swapped it around. We bought Virgil and Trent off um, just so we can get that chem. I think... Even if I did that, no, that drops him by seven. So I'd rather have De Bruyne on seven rather than Chiellini, just because I know De Bruyne can handle it. Um, Chiellini's got the engine on him now. We have put in Yashin as well. Could be the sign of the summer for me. I'm, I'm hoping he does actually really well. In terms of it then, we've got the plus five on both. Taking him up to 81 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. Still not amazing on that acceleration, but it's, it's better. We do get the plus five on the uh, agility, which takes it up to 78. Okay, bit better again. And we do get 83 balance, which I think is is usable there. I feel like what will get this card down even more, in my opinion, is just the animation of him. I've always thought Chiellini has always been that bulky centre-back, very much like PK. As a defender, as literally a tackling player, amazing. He'll have a great tackle. He'll have a great interception. It will be when players run around him, when they try and take him on and he misses that tackle, his recovery is going to be awful. That is where he's going to be really caught out. And hopefully having a partner like Ramos could kind of like counterweigh that. We're going to see how it goes. We've got him linking with Danilo. Obviously, he's the only other uh, Juventus player I've got in the defense that actually would be uh, of the standard right now. So let's jump in, see what he does in this team. Loans galore, and yet he has team of the year Mbappe. Absolutely love it. Let's get Chiellini on this ball then. Let's see what we're all about. Get that little, little turn in. We love it. We're going to get him running up. Ah, oh, Pogba's not going to find him. Can we get him on the back? Oh, no, he's gone back too much into Ronaldinho. 
Gets the shot. De Bruyne's there for that one. Again, for first little dribble. Didn't feel massively clunky, but obviously it was just a little touch. And De Bruyne, even on seven, is still bagging him in for me. Chiellini, perfect moment. And as soon as Mbappe went past him, I knew it. That was kind of a bit of hash defending from me, I think. I pressed B far too quickly on that one. Oh, Ronaldinho going for it. Chiellini again. The one problem with him is, is, is he's not really going to get that much of the ball. I'm going to mainly be using Ramos. And I think that's just something you'll do with him in general. Because you kind of think already that he's not going to be quite there. He's no Maldini. He's no Cannavaro in terms of Italian centre-backs. So it's going to be very interesting to see how he fills the hole of someone like Virgil. But so far, he's not put a foot wrong. Granted, the opponent's not really done a hell of a lot as of yet. I still think that there's definitely times to uh, to make a mistake as he's intercepted. And again, the tackling side of him, I feel like already I could say without even looking at it massively, he's going to be a great tackler of the ball. That's just something he's going to have in his system. He's from the era of hard tacklers, really good and getting the ball from the standing and slide. But it's literally the balance and the kind of overall game. They're very much like Virgil, like Gomez, I think does it really well. That's where he's going to really struggle. Chiellini stopping him. Doesn't really get the tackle, but manages to kind of hold him for a little bit longer than he should have done. Oh, Pogba getting the next one. Chiellini intercept him. So far, not terrible. I could definitely notice the kind of the advantages and disadvantages of him. He's still, Ramos is still doing a hell of a lot. And I already noticed that straight away as R9 managed to get number three. But Ramos is kind of, he's acting as that player that's sweeping everything. I can see him moving to the right, to the left. And Keelin is kind of very static in that one role. Don't know if that's just against this guy, but... It's something that I've noticed already in this game and we're barely 59 minutes in. So going into the overall then for Chiellini, he's coming in at about 70 to 80-ish K. If you do look at the 82 plus pack, the 582s, roughly it's going to be the same sort of value. Yes, you need 60 chem rather than uh, I think it's like 40 or 50 from the 82 plus. But it's roughly about the same. That is going to be the best method, 82 to 88. 11 of them will guarantee you a squad that can bring Chiellini into your club if you really want. I think the three star weak foot, a little bit of a, a downgrade for him. I think four is the minimum at this point in the game. I'd say skill moves isn't really relevant for centre backs. We always say that. In terms of his traits, long throwing can become useful if he's on the right for you. It so happens to be running that way. He's got a nice throwing. It's it's a very kind of opportunist. Uh, opportunist? No, I can't even figure the word. You know what I mean? If the opportunity is there, it's great to have that. Going down the wing, it's not going to be Keelini's kind of point of view, really, is it? I don't imagine him playing as a right back or a left back, in my opinion, anyway. In terms of the chemistry style, let's move this advert. I wish I could get rid of them. Uh, we will go with an engine, which would only turn him into a 96 centre back. Obviously, the stats here are pretty bang on right there, even if we went with something like... Um, I, I don't know if a gladiator, gladiator would turn him into a 97, a backbone would turn him into a 98, uh, 97, I don't think there's a 99 there, anchor's 98, anchor if you really wanted to go all out, you could do, again I think it is a bit of a waste, even a shadow will only turn him into a 97, I feel like engine offers all of that kind of bonus, you've already got a solid defence, you've already got the physical, stamina's going to be 70s still, okay for a center back i wouldn't say it's it's mad it's like completely out irrelevant but i'd again would prefer a little bit higher in case we go into extra time um but the physical jumping and strength can't be increased pace wise is a must to go passing is a nice little extra or dribbling that is um and then uh, passing is a nice little extra sorry and then the dribbling i feel like the agility balance is another perfect one to get up necessarily not the greatest in terms of upgrading a center back but Seen as though he's got the defensive side of it, why not give him some agility balance? I feel like that is the kind of key areas that you want to be hitting. And I think it does him wonders. Great passing, better pace, still not amazing, but better. Agility and balance, I think the balance is kind of, it, it's salvageable to the extent. But the one thing that really stops this centre-back is just his generic animations. And we can figure out he is 36 years old. So 
you're bound to have that clunky defender in him. He's in the era of just tackle and kick the ball out or tackle and pass, ta pass out wide. That is what the centre-backs did. Now in this game, centre-backs are more all-round kind of players. They can dribble with it to an extent. They've got a great pass. They may have a nice shot on them. We've seen a few. David Luiz from free kicks has a bit of a thunderbolt. We've seen plenty of defenders absolutely rocket the net, most definitely. So we're coming into an era now where... Every position can play multiple positions now. Back in the day, centre backs were six foot two, or I'm, t I'm talking on an average here, and are hard as nails. Chiellini was one of them. He's got a bit of pace, got great defending, got great physicals, and he'll run through you. That's basically what he did in his 30s or, or t late 20s. So for me, it's kind of just that last goodbye to these centre backs. And I still think it's a nice card, but is it going to be in your team? Most definitely not. This card is going to be 100% fodder. For me, it's a nice card to see him off with this year. It's a cheap SBC. It's very, very cheap to finish. And a nice little person in your club if you really want. You do get a kit from it. I think it's a FIFA 20 kit, which for me is just not really worth it. You've kind of got them kits in this year already. But bar from that, he's probably, I'd say, a 7 to maybe a 7.5 out of 10. I feel like there's too many centre-backs out there that can definitely trump this card. And you've probably already got them in your team for a lot cheaper than this as well. With the upgrade packs, I can imagine a lot of people have them already. So without that, I just thought we'd give him my little opinion on him. I did like Chiellini back in the day when he was hitting that 89, 90 rated as a base. And then obviously going up from there. But we have changed era now. He is a little bit older and more than likely we will be saying bye to him of his uh, kind of retirement very, very soon. But hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.